Hey everybody, it's Barbara and it's time for another Motivational Monday. And today I'm going to talk to you about the super important sunshine vitamin, vitamin D. So when most people think about vitamin D, they think about how important it is for healthy bones. And that is absolutely true. Vitamin D takes the calcium in your body and it brings it into your bones. Without adequate levels of vitamin D, that calcium, instead of going into bones as it should, deposits, deposits into soft tissues like your arteries and it can create blockages. So you see that vitamin D is important for bone density, but it's also incredibly important for your heart. It's also important for other things, including your immune function. So having adequate vitamin D levels helps protect you against colds and flus. So that's great during cold and flu season. It also helps protect your immune system from autoimmune diseases, diseases like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis, things of that nature. And vitamin D has also been shown to help protect against certain cancers like breast cancer and colorectal cancer. So as you see, it goes well beyond bone density. Vitamin D is important for all of us. Most people think that if they live in a warm climate, then they are they don't have to worry about their vitamin D levels, and that may be true. However, people that live in cold climates are not the only demographic of people that need to worry about their vitamin D levels. For example, if you've ever had your gallbladder removed, you may have low vitamin D levels because the bile that's secreted from your gallbladder allows for the digestion of certain fats, including and the absorption of those fats, including vitamin D. So if you're missing your gallbladder, you need to find out what your levels are. If you have an inflammatory bowel disease, like irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, anything that impairs bowel function, then you also might have a deficiency in vitamin D because the inflammation impairs absorption of certain nutrients. So you should also have your levels checked. Additionally, vegans should have their vitamin D levels checked and supplements accordingly. Vegans are people who eat absolutely no animal products. So they need to also look into their vitamin D levels and supplement. And then long-term diabetics, people who have had diabetes for many years should also know what their vitamin D levels are in order to protect not only their heart, but their bones and their kidneys and all other functions in their body. So you see there's a wide demographic of people, there's a lot of people out there that need to know what their vitamin D levels are so that they can do what they need to do to get to healthy levels. So the first thing you want to do is go to your doctor and have your vitamin D level checked. It's a simple blood test, that you can have the results within a week, and then you can know what your levels are and what you need to do to help boost them if you need to boost them. So on that blood test, the range for a healthy vitamin D is anywhere between 30 and 100 nanograms per milliliter. You want your range to come in at around 50 to 60. Most people, I would say 9 out of 10 people that I see in my practice come in under 30. Therefore, they need to do whatever they can do to help boost that number. And here are some simple things that you can do to help rectify a low vitamin D level. The very first thing is to get out in the sun. If you live in a cold climate like I do in New York during the winter, you're not going to get much sun here. But if you go on vacation to a warmer climate, there's an opportunity. And then definitely do anything that you can do during the warmer months to be outside and get some healthy sunshine. So you want to stay out around 10 to 15 minutes about three o'clock in the afternoon because you do not want to use sunscreen for this. You want to go out without any protection and you obviously don't want to go out in, in high noon and get burnt. So go around three o'clock in the afternoon. You want to expose your arms, your legs, the upper part of your chest and your face and that, by doing that for 15 minutes every day, will give you anywhere between 3,000 and 10,000 units of vitamin D right into your system, that your body is a completely organic, completely natural way of getting vitamin D, and that's the first and best way to do it. The second way to do it is having some wild Alaskan salmon, specifically wild Alaskan salmon. So you can get that in a health food store, in a like Whole Foods grocery. Uh, you can order it online from vitalchoice.com. There's plenty of places that you can get wild Alaskan salmon. Three and a half ounces of salmon will yield approximately 600 to 1,000 units of vitamin D, and that's another excellent way to get your vitamin D. A third way, which is probably the most popular way in our country, however, it's probably not the best way, is to the consumption of milk. Milk is usually fortified with vitamin D, meaning that they add vitamin D to it and they usually use a vitamin D2, which is not that compatible with the vitamin D in our own body. So not only is it not the best form of vitamin D, milk is also incredibly hard to digest, can create a lot of mucus in the body, and you may not be extracting the vitamin D from the milk in any case, whether it's a good form or not. So that's the least way to get your vitamin D. The last way, and again, if you're going to do it this way, you need to absolutely get your blood levels checked, is to take a vitamin supplement. The best, the best vitamin supplement is a vitamin D3, cholecalciferol vitamin D. And again, you need to supplement according to your blood work. So go to your doctor, have your levels checked, and then have your doctor or your healthcare provider recommend a proper dose for you. 
You want to make sure that that capsule is in a gel cap formula because that's best absorbed and then take it once a day after you eat. Check your levels again in three months and see where you're at so that you can, again, rearrange the dose and dose yourself accordingly. But when the sun is out, absolutely get outside, get some sun, and that's the absolute best way, not only to get vitamin D, but to boost serotonin, make yourself feel great, and of course, enjoy the great outdoors. So if you like tips like this and you want more suggestions on how to live a healthy, happy life, check out my blog at rootsandseeds.com. If you want to know more about me and my practice, then check out my website at barbaramendeznutrition.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or all the social media. I love to hear your comments and your feedback. So absolutely send me a note. Give me suggestions for any future uh, motivational Mondays. I'd love to hear that too. So thanks again. I hope you enjoy your week and I'll see you next Monday. Mm-hmm.